Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my monthly favourites for the month of May. Thank goodness this month has gone. It was so full on with my birthday, with assignments, just with everything in general. I am so so happy that it's finally over. It was a lovely month, but I'm glad it's over. So I'm excited for what the month of June entails. But anyway, um, just a quick note. Sorry about my appearance. I just came from uni. Um, yeah, I just came from uni and I filmed this video now because I wouldn't have a chance any other time before like June. So yeah, let's just get started. Let's start off with primer. I have really, really been enjoying this primer. I hauled it a tiny little bit ago and I really, really do enjoy it. This is the Lancome La Base Pro Oil Free Perfecting Makeup Primer Smoothing Effect. And I just really, really like this. It's a silicone, I think it's silicone based. And it just really like smooths out your skin. So I mainly apply it to like this central area of my face. And it just smooths out everything. And it just makes my skin feel so velvety and so soft and smooth. And I just love how it makes my skin feel. And then when I put makeup over the top of it, it is so, so lovely. And it just appears so beautiful. So if you are looking for a high-end primer, then I'll definitely recommend that one. Alright, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I've been adoring this foundation because I have recently started to fake tan. Hence, another favourite that's going to be coming up very, very shortly in this video. But yeah, I just really, really like this. I already own NC15 and then I was given a sample of NC20 and I've just been mixing them for as my tan has been going. I'm not wearing it today because I don't have any fake tan whatsoever on. Um, yeah, I'll be putting it on tonight for my birthday and yeah, um, I don't know. It just matches my fake tan really nicely. So that's why I've been enjoying it. Let's just talk about lips for a second, shall we? Um, the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm Stain. This is in the shade Elusive and I absolutely adore this color. My baby cousin smooshed it, but that's okay. Um, it's just so beautiful. Like look how pigmented that is. It's just so beautiful, so moisturizing. It is matte. It lasts a long time. I couldn't ask more of a chubby pencil thing. Like, it's the formulation of a lipstick, but in, like, a pencil form. I absolutely adore it. It's so, so good. Two more lip products. This one is the Mil Milani. Milani. The Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade Rosa Moore. Packaging is gorgeous, can I just not say. And then the color, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It's a little bit more bright compared to that Revlon shade, but still so, so beautiful. And it just gives like the loveliest wash of color to my face. I was going to say cheeks, to my face. And sometimes I just pat it really, really lightly to just get like a light wash of color. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I was trying to say. And then the last one is the Astralis Velour Lip in the shade NYC. Um, Fran picked this up for me from the Priceline 40% off sale, I believe. And, oh my god, the smell. The smell is amazing. And the smell doesn't linger either, but the color is just so beautiful. Like, it's one of those, like, liquid lipstick kind of things that dries matte. Like, look. Like, can you see how pigmented that is? It is so gorgeous. And, oh my goodness. I did a get ready with me look using this, so I will link that down below. But these are like seven or eight dollars, I think, and they are just so so good. I have three now, and they are just amazing. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. Okay, moving on to more face products. This is from Ilamasca. It is a cream pigment, so basically one of their cream pot things. This is in the shade Hollow. Now, I have two purposes for this. I either use it on my eyes as an eyeshadow base, or I use this on my cheeks for contouring. I haven't, I'm not using it today, but this is just so, so lovely. It is super, super, super pigmented, and the tone is just amazing for contouring. Excuse the stains from those lipsticks, but... Seriously, the color is just so, so amazing. It's just amazing. I really, really do enjoy it. I picked mine up on sale for about $20, but I think full price around like under $30. 
So yeah, definitely check it out. You get eight grams in this and I think this would last you like, if you used it every day, definitely like a good part of a year. Definitely go check that out. Okay, to set all of that face productness, I don't know what to call it, face products, whatever, um, I've been absolutely adoring this Australis Ready Set Go powder in the shade True Translucent. It's a finishing powder and it's just so, so good. Like the texture is literally so unique. I don't even know how to describe the texture. It is so, so, so cool and it's just so finely milled and it's so amazing and I love it and it makes my makeup last all day long, even like foundations that kind of fade on me they like this powder gives it at least an extra three hours wear I would say like it is so so amazing the only thing that I would say is if you were wanting to take photos so for example if you had a special event you were going clubbing you were going to a birthday party um, school photos anything like that I probably will actually no not probably I definitely would not recommend this um, for those days for the pure fact that this does flash back the first ingredient is silica, and silica is the powder that causes that white cast on your face. So, yeah, if you were doing like photo shoots or anything with flash photography, I definitely would steer away from this, just because for that pure fact that it would flash back. But besides that, I've been adoring this for every day. It's amazing. Oh, I'm getting so breathless. Okay, bronzer. This is the Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer. It's a 16-hour long wear bronzer. Oh my god, that was so hard to open. Okay, this is the colour here. Too Faced, I find, makes some of the most amazing bronzers ever. Do they even show up? Can you see? Yeah, it's like over here somewhere. But the colour looks amazing and it lasts so, so long. I don't know if it's 16 hours long, but it is just such an amazing, amazing, amazing powder. It's an amazing colour. If you are more on the pale side, then definitely give this a try. It's really, really, really nice in my opinion. Um, but it is very, very comparable to the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. So if you had one, I don't think you would need the other. But it is still a very, very lovely bronzer that I've been gravitating towards for the month of May. Sorry if the lighting changed. My camera died. Camera? I don't own a camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. My camera died. Anyway, next favourite. Who would have guessed it? Who would have thought that this palette would have made it into my favorites? Everyone. Um, I was in love with this palette from first sight. Like, look at the packaging. It is gorgeous. Like, so beautiful. And it's made by Kat Von D, and I love Kat Von D. Um, I love all of her stuff. Her stuff is amazing. But anyway, this is no different. This is the Ladybird palette. And it just consists of eight matte shadows. I'm obsessed with this palette. It is so, so good. It is all that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm only wearing these three colors here. So that one, that one, and that one. Like, seriously, these colors are so pigmented. It doesn't help that I swatch, like, skin tone colored shades, does it? Um, but, like, so, so, so pigmented. Can you see that last one? Yeah, you can even see that. Like, these colours are so absolutely pigmented. I am obsessed. Like, so pigmented. And they are just so buttery, so smooth. I use my NARS primer underneath, um, as I always do. And I don't experience any creasing, any fading whatsoever. These are amazing. If you can get your hands on Kat Von D, get it. It's amazing. Love it. Gonna stop talking about it. Okay, I've loved these for a very, very long time, but I don't think I've ever told you guys how much I love them. These are the Simple Kind of Skin Makeup Removal Wipes. They are so, so good. I use about two on a daily basis to take off like a full face of makeup, and I feel like it does it really, really well. Um, and yeah, these are just the ones that have worked the best for me. I do know a few people that said that these have broken them out. But I've never experienced that. I feel like they are so, so good. And I buy them in the two-pack from Priceline for about $10, $8 you can buy them on sale for. Which I think is a pretty decent price considering you get 25 wipes. And yeah, they make up wipes. I don't think there's too much to talk about them. But I absolutely adore these. They're so much better than the Yes to Cucumber things. Like those hurt my face. Like those actually burnt my face. I don't like those. Don't get those. Get these. These are amazing fake tan 
I gave in, I bought the Saint Tropez tan and I bought the bronzing lotion instead of the mousse just because I thought the lotion would be way easier to use. Um, it's just like a brownie colored solution and I don't know, it just worked really, really, really well with my skin. But yeah, I just feel like this is really, really good and it's really, really foolproof. Like, such a rookie error on my part, but the first time I ever applied it, I was going to go wash my tanning mitt and I was just wearing like pajama shorts and like a singlet and I was just washing the tanning mitt and then the tanning whip, mitt, not whip, tanning mitt like splashed water like onto my leg and then I just had like this white line. Excuse that swatch from that Kat Von D. I didn't even notice that. Let me just keep talking while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, it's just so amazing. Like when the water splashed on me, I had this like white line like of my skin color where the fake tan washed away. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So I was like, okay, it's my leg. This is the first time I've ever fake tanned. I should see how I can fix this. So I just got a tiny bit more on my finger and I just basically like rubbed it in where that white line was. And like I thought like where it was going to overlap, it was going to make it darker, but it didn't. And I was like, oh, thank gosh. But anyway, this stuff is great. It's pretty much foolproof. I think it's way easier than foam. I've only tried foam once, but I love this so much more. So yeah, if you're looking for a good self-tanning lotion, then definitely try the saint Pay one. It is amazing. I bought the 240ml one, and it's amazing. I really, really enjoy it. Okay, and lucky last favorite is the Imperial Leather Foam Burst Shower Gel. Um, it claims to have 40 plus washes. I bought this based off Jody from Guru Beauty's recommendations. And yeah, this is a brand new one. I have two currently going in my shower at the moment because I like to alternate scents because I'm weird like that. But I absolutely adore this. It lathers amazingly and it just feels so, so lovely on the skin. So I definitely recommend that if you, if you are looking for a new shower wash. Okay guys, so that's the end of my favorites. I hope you had a lovely May as well. If you have any favorites videos that you've posted, then definitely let me know down below or even link it to me and I'd be more than happy to check them out. I love watching favorite videos. They are one of my favorite videos to watch and one of my favorite videos to film. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.